Remember the Cyberpunk 2077 stutter spikes I found in newest game-ready 581 driver? NVIDIA quietly released a studio version of the same driver, and I tested it to see if switching fixes the issues. Quick recap. Game-ready 581 was the emergency hotfix for Windows 11 KB506 that tanked frame rates. It restored performance but introduced stuttering spikes in Cyberpunk during fast travel and combat. So I installed studio version of it with a clean DDU reinstall and and tested Cyberpunk immediately. The stuttering is completely gone. Frame times are smooth, zero hitches. The inconsistent frame delivery that plagued Game Ready fixed on Studio. This proves that Game Ready and Studio drivers, even with identical version numbers, have different optimization profiles that impact games differently. But before you rush to install Studio Driver, here's where things get messy. Marvel Rivals and Stalker 2 both crash during shader compilation on the Studio Driver. Not occasional crashes, every launch attempt fails when loading shaders. I tried everything. Clean DDU reinstall, deleted shader cache, verified game files. Both games refused to compile shaders on Studio and crashed to desktop before reaching the main menu. These exact same games worked perfectly on Game Ready version. No shader crashes, or at least I could fix it with clean reinstall. This proves that switching between Game Ready and Studio is a gamble where you're trading one set of broken games for a different set. Here's the impossible decision. If Cyberpunk is your primary game and you've been been dealing with stuttering on Game Ready, Studio fixes it completely. But if you play Marvel Rivals or Stalker 2 regularly, or other Unreal Slop, Studio makes those games literally unplayable. Shader compilation crashes every launch. So NVIDIA's solution is to offer two versions of the same hotfix that each break different games, and you pick which titles you want working. The shader crashes on Studio are frustrating because these are Unreal Engine 5 games that handle shader loading identically. Whatever NVIDIA changed in Studio validation specifically breaks UE5 shader systems. My recommendation? If you primarily play single-player AAA titles like Cyberpunk, install Studio 581 for smoother frame times. If you play any Unreal Engine 5 slop regularly, stay on Game Ready and deal with occasional Cyberpunk stutters. Or just stay on 581 if it works perfectly and skip this mess. If you want to avoid wasting hours troubleshooting which driver breaks which games, subscribe to this channel because we test both versions across dozens of titles so you know exactly what breaks before installing.